Michael, I am near the intersection of Dunbar Street and Augusta Street where that handoff occurred. I am also just a few blocks from the nearest hospital, which would have been a safer choice. Police continue their search for the woman who handed a newborn to a passing stranger. Their concerns about how and where she decided to give the baby up. Because she made the decision that she did, she may find herself now facing criminal charges. Kelly Ross is the CEO of Piedmont Women's Center in Greenville an agency that encourages women to follow Daniel's Law in times of crisis. Daniel's Law was put in place because the government recognizes that sometimes people find themselves in a situation and they don't know what to do. And when people are in crisis, they respond in interesting ways. Daniel's Law allows women to take their unwanted infants to so-called safe havens. Hospitals, fire departments, police departments, even churches, without fear of prosecution. Ultimately, we would really like to speak with her and, and make certain that she is the mother of the child. Police say until they speak with a mother, it's impossible to say if charges are warranted. But Ross says based on what we do know, it appears the woman cared about the child's well-being. She obviously did what she thought was best in finding someone who she believed could help her in that moment. Police say they simply want to talk to the woman as the child continues to receive care at a local hospital. Last night, a woman claiming to be the baby's mother contacted WYFF News 4, insisting she wasn't the one to hand off that child. We, in turn, encouraged her to contact local authorities. Tim Waller, WYFF News 4, live in Greenville.